Well, what Jamnagar has demonstrated unquestionably to the world is if we can dream it, we can do it. This has been my father's uh, favorite saying that there are no constraints, no boundaries. All constraints and boundaries are really uh, in the mind, deep down, in his heart. He was absolutely clear that he wanted to build the world's biggest refinery. Impossible. Impossible. They all said it was impossible. The largest in the world. Impossible. impossible. Completed in less than 36 months. Impossible. impossible. Made in impossible. India by the Indians. Absolutely, Absolutely impossible. impossible. Yes, impossible. That's what they all said in 1996. And again in 1997. And 1998. And in 1999, the impossible made possible. The world's largest greenfields refinery with the capacity of 27 million tons per year. Constructed on 7,500 acres of barren land in Jamnagar. The largest investment made at a single location in India. Six billion US dollars. 24,000 crores of rupees. Reliance Petroleum Limited. Impossible. Quite impossible. What Jamnagar has demonstrated unquestionably to the world is if we can dream it, we can do it. Well, my father uh, Dhirubhai Ambani's vision really is and what is imbibed uh, in each one of us that whatever you do has to be world class. This is what it looked like at the beginning. Bare as bare can be. The project site before construction started. Meetings in London, Chicago, Mumbai and Jamnagar. Then, in November 1996, the Reliance workforce moved in. 75,000 workers. Project management by world leader Bechtel. The finest technology from global giants. Massive machinery. The stage was set, all set for the making of the world's largest greenfields refinery. 14,000 kilometers of cabling, twice the coastline of India, 5,000 kilometers of pipeline, twice the distance from Mumbai to Calcutta, 100,000 metric tons of structural steel. Enough to construct 16 Eiffel Towers, 170 kilometers of roads, enough to connect Mumbai and Pune. Concrete, equal to several Empire State Buildings. 55 substations, 33 blast-proof buildings, 43 chimneys and flares, the tallest twice the height of the Kutub Minar. Housing for 75,000 families. Site offices for 4,500 people. Four bonded warehouses. The world's largest and most modern pipe fabrication facility. The craft training center for developing skilled work people and for total communication and coordination 
India's largest and most modern IT network. It was all so perfect. Everything running to schedule. Early trials and plant simulations underway. Everything running just like clockwork. Almost perfectly timed. Till that day in June 1998. When like a time bomb, nature exploded. Officials in India say that 550 people died in the cyclone that hit the western state of Gujarat on Tuesday. Many people are still missing. The army has been drafted in to help with rescue work. Millions of rupees worth of property reduced to rubble. And among the worst hit, Reliance Petroleum, the world's largest greenfields refinery, scattered by the winds of calamity. Overnight, People were mobilized from everywhere. People from all over India coming together. Employees, laborers and contractors. Working 24 hours a day, every single day, to save lives first and foremost. And then to put the world's largest refinery back on schedule again. What happened on June the 9th was described as the act of God. What followed in the next two weeks were the acts of men and determined to bring the normal sea back as soon as possible. The result? The Reliance Complex was back to the pre-cyclonic stage in a record 12 days. Just 12 days, that's all. And in another 15 days, 60,000 people back at work. What followed was history in the making. November 1998, the first gas turbine commissioned for uninterrupted power supply. December 1998, the first desalination unit commissioned, transforming seawater to fresh water in millions of gallons. March 1999, the first process unit commissioned. July 1999, first crude unit started. Marine unloading begins at India's largest all-weather deep port petroleum terminal. September 1999, the fluidized catalytic cracker commissioned. And in December 1999, history. The world's largest greenfields refinery was commissioned in a record time of less than 36 months. All set to create wealth for the nation and the world's largest family of shareholders. At Jamnagar, we have really doubled the entire Reliance Group in two and a half years. In 20 years, Reliance has built $6 billion of assets at Naroda, Patalganga and Hazira. And in the last two and a half years, we have doubled it. Take a look for yourselves. See what can be achieved with hard work, determination, planning and total dedication. India's largest tank farm with tanks larger than football stadiums. The world's largest coker. The world's largest paraxylene plant. All part of the vast Reliance Petroleum Complex, a world-scale refinery in India. A project with a mind-boggling combination of features unprecedented anywhere. Vision. Total backward integration. Maximum value addition. A world scale, world class refinery 
built in India. Reliance Petroleum Limited. A gift to the nation for the new millennium. An industrial wonder the like of which has never been experienced before. During a startup, you uh, sometimes face uh, certain uh, uh, problems where uh, a small problem could stop you from starting up the complex, even if it is $100 uh, worth, you know, but it stops you from starting the complex. Uh, we flew the gasket from Chennai to Jamnagar on a chartered plane. We needed it badly to start up the unit. Configuration. Versatile. Adaptable. Producing petrol and diesel ready to respond immediately to changing market conditions, different grades of crude and customer demands at the press of a button. Quality control, uncompromising, meeting Californian standards. Size, world scale, more than one third the area of Manhattan or pictured in the city of Mumbai extending from the gateway of India to Shivaji Park, an area of over 7,500 acres. Massive, yet so well connected. A perfect integration of refinery, petrochemicals and power. Fully computerized and automated to respond to real-time business in a dynamic world. We wanted a refinery that would make the most amount of money under any circumstances whether the refining scenario in India is regulated or deregulated. Tomorrow if the government comes up with a ruling that in India there shall be 50 parts per million sulphur in diesel, our refinery should be able to meet the specification. So we wanted to build a refinery that would swing anyway, depending upon the changing market dynamics, whether the crude prices or product prices go up or down. In short, what we wanted at Jamnagar refinery was a giant that would dance to our tune. Now let's take a quick look at the other aspects that made it possible to create this industrial wonder. Execution strategy. Fast track schedules with just two points of coordination and decision making. London and Jamnagar. Real time communication by satellite. Drawings in 3D with PDS model rendering for simulated plant walkthroughs before construction. Decision-making delegated at lower levels without sacrificing integrity. Global sourcing and bulk buying of material for the best possible quality at the lowest possible cost. One of the ways Mr. Mukesh Ambani was monitoring our project progress was to check how much money we spent in a day. For example, we were supposed to spend about $10 million every day. That is equivalent of rupees 44 crores. And if we didn't spend that kind of money every day, he wanted to know why there was a deviation from the plan and how can he help us to confirm to the plan. If we did better than the plan, there were absolutely no questions asked. We have uh, divided the project into four parts. Uh, refinery, petrochemicals, power and port. So for us it was four projects to be financed and not one project to be financed. So that is how the entire funding was thought through and planned. Precise and quick decision-making was the order of the day. Take the Roro Jetty for example. Specially constructed for the handling of huge over-dimensional consignments of more than 1,500 tons. A single wrong decision in the handling of this project could have delayed it by as much as two years, costing several crores of rupees. Everything had to be precisely and meticulously planned. Nothing left to chance. Nothing. Not even the smallest details. 75,000 people, including 2,500 engineers, working at peak moments to maximum efficiency. Construction spread over 7,500 acres, divided into regions, subdivisions, contractors and subcontractors with Reliance itself becoming the main contractor. The moment we decided to put the refinery up, the first thing I was worried about is how am I going to get all these people? And we knew we have got no choice but to get people from all over the world. And therefore infrastructure received the first attention. Uh, we had a problem in recruiting some people, 
But when they visited the site, they saw the size of the project and they saw the infrastructure. We knew we got him. Well, you've seen it all. The making of the world's biggest green fields refinery. But what you haven't seen is the other side of Reliance. The Reliance that cares for its people. Not just its loyal family of shareholders, but also the people who work for Reliance. In fact, this whole subject is so personal and so close to our hearts, we thought it needed a more personal approach. Don't you? It started with Mukesh being gripped by this Jamnagar fever. So I came here. All that I saw was just land, miles and miles of land, no trees, arid, desert. He said, do you think you can help me in putting up this township? This is how it started. You know, I dreamt of having gardens everywhere. I said, I don't want just concrete and buildings. I want the family to enjoy a complete life. The largest, greenest, most beautiful township. Schools. Community halls. Recreation centers. The finest medical facilities, complete with modern hospitals and ambulances. Supermarkets run by the Employees Cooperative Society. Bus services. All the facilities are so good that the children don't want to go here. Everything a housewife and her children could wish for. Everything to make the Reliance family feel at home. At the world's largest greenfields refinery. Environment. More than 1,900 acres of greenery planned. A lush green belt on barren land, using the latest agroforestry and horticulture. A totally self-sufficient project. Reliance Petroleum Limited. A project that will contribute more than 7,000 crore rupees to the national exchequer. A project that will save the nation around 8,000 crore rupees every year in precious foreign exchange. A project that will generate several million jobs in direct and indirect employment. A project that will account for 4% of the total turnover of the Indian corporate sector. The single largest investment ever made at a single location in India. A group investment of 24,000 crore rupees. The world's largest greenfields refinery. Reliance Petroleum Limited.